While the Americans were going for clean, British engineers in the 60s and 70s were going for big and brash. Here's a really aggressive setting for the 1176 that's sometimes called British mode by some, and others call it nuke mode. So first of all, the interesting thing about the 1176, let's take a look at it, is that it has these four ratio buttons. And the Americans back in the 60s never thought about using more than one button, but the Brits did. And in fact, there's a setting where if you put all the buttons in, you make this limiter sound just insane. So first of all, let's have a listen to it. Just bypassed. It works especially well on room mics. So let's try it there. Now in order to get into British mode, what we're going to do is hold the shift key down and just press any ratio button and there we go. Now have a listen. Now what's happening here is all of a sudden the room ambience is coming up and it's really, really pumping along with the rhythm of the song. And that's the interesting part here. When all four buttons are pushed in, or actually all you need is two of the buttons to get the same effect, the ratio varies constantly between 12 and 20 to 1, and the attack and release changes with the program. You also get a slightly overdriven tone that you don't get any other way. So now let's listen to the drum track. Really makes a difference, doesn't it? Let's listen to the track. You gotta wait, you gotta see, somebody pull it for me. I got fall down on the floor. Now we can use the setting on other instruments as well. Let's listen on the bass, for instance. Now we have a bass group up here. Let's listen to it by itself. Now let's put our 1176 in and let's put it into nuke mode. Days, let's listen again from the beginning of that part, but with the 1176 in British mode. You gotta wait. can also work on vocals sometimes, although you really have to want them gritty. Let's have a listen. You gotta wait, for God's sake, somebody pull it for me. I got fall down on the floor, this isn't easy for me. Forty days, forty nights. Now you can hear on certain songs, this actually works. When you solo it up, it doesn't sound quite as good as it does in the track. Except the drums, it sounds really good on the drums. Anyway, if you want a really aggressive setting with the 1176, something that you can't get any other way, use this British setting, which is basically all four ratio buttons depressed at the same time.